So there was a new patent that uh, came to light. I saw this yesterday, I think, and I looked at it and I thought it was really funny. So I thought we would go over it uh, in a video a little bit. It's from Razer. It, uh, it's, it's their new gaming handheld, it seems. Now, Razer has actually worked with, uh, w with the idea of having detachable controllers of some kind for a tablet. It's something that they've worked with because, of course, what's the big thing that we all complain about when it comes to tablets and phones, when it comes to playing games? There's no physical buttons, so it, I mean, a touchscreen can just take you so far, I think, and I don't know if we'll ever get to a point where it really feels like an actual button on the screen. Uh, who knows? Maybe there's some crazy thing that ends up happening and, and it solves that problem, but right now, uh, trying to think of trying to play a fighting game uh, on a on a touchscreen. I know there have been some that... that work with a phone, but not really actually work, if you understand what I'm saying, uh, with a touch screen. It's just, you don't really know what's going on. You, you think you're pressing all the buttons, but you, you have to look down most of the time, or you have to kind of look to the sides, and it's 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 a whole thing. So Razer has been playing around with the idea, and their new patent is, uh, well, it's, it's funny. <laughs> it's familiar looking. Here's the article. Let's Go Digital had the, the scoop on this. I'll leave a link down below if you want to check out more of the article and read through it. But we'll, we'll take a glance at it here, and you can probably see what I'm talking about right away. This appears to be Razer's patent. We're going to say that for now. Patent, I, I think it's pretty far along. I think this might be something uh, that, for example, Let's Go Digital's pointed out could be a CES 2020 announcement. I think this is something they're probably going to announce just because there is a lot of detail in the patent. I have to say, also, uh, I like kind of the idea by Razer. Now, Razer, of course, appears to be taking some inspiration from Nintendo. We'll say that. Uh, it is a little different, okay? So it's not exactly the same. But there was, I remember a while ago, an article that uh, pointed out Nintendo talking about the NX and why they weren't showing it right away or anything. Uh, and they were waiting closer to launch to show it. Now it's because they were worried about competitors taking their idea or working off their ideas right away. And they wanted to get their Switch to market, well, the NX to market at the time. So this is a patent filed by Razer. Let's go digital. Like I said, pointed this one out. As, as you can see here, we have other pictures of it. The gaming handheld patent producer render. And this is from Let's Go Digital. You can see if you flip it over as they have kind of the, the top down view, it appears. I mean, that's from the bottom. It's now it'd be from the top because the uh, shoulder button stuff are up there. It does have that same look where the Joy-Cons kind of jut out on the side. So the back doesn't necessarily hit uh, the table if you put it down, right? It's, it's slightly sloped up. Be curious if they have a kickstand on there as well. I have a feeling they do, although we've seen obviously like like Microsoft Surface tablets and stuff. That kickstands are are we've seen phones have kickstands a while ago, so that's not necessarily a, a switch only thing. But this is geared towards uh, gaming. The other issue they'll run into obviously is that it's probably going to be just like Android or something, and you play the games off of there. There are some good games, but are they console quality games? Probably not. But uh. This is almost, as they say, almost seven years ago, the manufacturer already designed, this is, this is correct, a, a powerful Windows tablet, the Razer Edge Pro. It, they did. They, they It was very expensive, though. I think it was like $1,000 or something. It, it, wasn't, it was not attainable easily, if I'm thinking right. And then they had the Edge Gamepad Controller. You might be wondering what that is. It's uh, it's this monstrosity right here. Yes, this is what they were working off of. It was their it was their gamepad controller where you would slide the tablet into it, right, and then it would connect to those two controllers. It was basically like a dock that had controllers that looked similar to handles on the edges. It wasn't as intuitive as, say, Joy-Cons. However, this was back in 2013, so I have to cut them a little bit of slack. Even the Switch wasn't that far along at the time, and they were actually selling that to, to consumers then, right? So you could go online, you could buy it. I think the, I think the accessory was like a couple hundred dollars, if I'm not mistaken. It wasn't cheap either. I think like all the stuff they were selling was expensive. Like it, it was not an easy thing to attain, which might be why some people back when the Switch came out, some of the, if you remember some of the developers were surprised that the price was as low as it was, probably because they were comparing it to things like that. I mean, if you look at tablets, the tablets generally aren't that cheap when it comes to uh, performance tablets, I'll say that, not just web browsing tablets or, or cheapo bottom-of-the-barrel tablets. Uh, they're, they're generally hundreds of dollars just to get that. 
But they say Razer uh, from Singapore filed a patent for a gaming controller for mobile device and method of operating a gaming controller on March 5th, 2019. The patent was applied for in America and was published on August 1st, 2019. And that is the World Intellectual Property Office, the database. And you can see below here, we have a what appears to be a rendering, I think. Uh, we see a gaming device that uh, was at first sight Looks a lot like the popular Nintendo Switch handheld, a tablet screen that can be seen in the middle with a narrow controller on both sides that is the same height as the tablet screen. It actually looks like it all kind of merges together very, very nicely, I will say that, looking at it. Of, of course, these are renders and everything of it. Uh, but what's very interesting about this, uh, they've they've changed around some of the positioning, right? So, like, the sticks are, uh, they're symmetrical across the board there. Same with the button layouts and everything. It, it looks I think a bit cleaner because of that, but I understand that what Nintendo was going with with the Joy-Cons, where of course you, you have to make it so that you can pass off a Joy-Con. Um, so I guess to them, they maybe they're not going for that. It's interesting, but even they couldn't get it right with a D-pad. Come on, like what do you what? I would expect at least uh, if they're not going for that to have a D-pad on there. I mean, Nintendo did it with their light. Right, at least they put a D-pad on there. Uh, the left-hand controller also has an LED indicator, and the right-hand controller has an elongated button on the same spot, which serves for various game functions, including a, including pausing a game. And it, the patent literally refers to the Razer Edge gamepad controller, although gamers get extra freedom in the control options with this accessory. This gamepad is quite large and heavy, 1.4 kilos to be exact. The new solution must overcome these disadvantages and at the same time work as intuitively as its predecessor. Well, its predecessor was pretty clunky and, and yeah, it wasn't it wasn't great. But what's really interesting about this, and I, I do like this idea, maybe Nintendo can look into this. We've talked about uh, the railings on the Switch before wearing out, right? Like, so I've seen it. People on Twitter show it. The locks, they wear out and it's easy just to pop the, the Joy-Con off the side. I get it. This actually uses magnets so the controllers are held magnetically in place this works considerably differently than with the switch because nintendo uses a kind of rail system in which you have to slide the controller and they're looking for a magnetic solution which is interesting i'm curious how that works because i assume it still has something on the edge to lock it in the place because I'm trying to think of how strong that magnet would have to be if it's not locking into place in some way. But if you have magnets, it won't have to go through a railing. It'll just maybe click in and then it's on there. I assume there's still some sort of release button of some kind. So maybe there is still a locking mechanism. Otherwise, if it's all just straight up magnets, that would be... I would, I would, I would have to see that. I have to see how it actually feels and everything to, uh, to tell if it really is that stable. Like, I'm thinking in my mind that, that it'll just pop off easily. I mean, we've seen... A, I, I remember when, like, the MacBooks started using magnets. I was like, that's weird. And now it actually makes a lot of sense. So, who knows? Maybe uh, maybe this comes out and it actually is very... is, is solid, you know? Um, they, do, they do speculate a bit in this article as to when it would come out or when it'd be shown. They mentioned CES. But interestingly enough... They did get a response. I know. It, it, I guess here's the thing. Generally, when uh, patents are discovered and maybe there are plans to release it, they will sometimes respond with the typical answer of, "We don't comment on patents that we're not we're not showing yet." <laughs> you know. Uh, in fact, that's this is what they say here this is the official comments from Razer. As one of the world's most forward-thinking companies, Razer regularly applies for new patents for innovative concepts and designs. With more than 3,000 applications, Razer recently won prize, prizes from the World Intellectual Property Organization for its innovation. Sure, it's telling us how, how great their innovations are, okay? Uh, at the start of 2013, we invented the first gaming tablet with removable controllers, the Razer Edge. Years before devices like the Nintendo Switch were launched, our patents may or may not be marked and are marketed, and we do not comment on unannounced projects. I have a feeling this is a project that's probably going to come out only because it is so far along. Like, it really... It, it it's detailed very heavily, okay, in the patents and everything. So that makes me feel like it's coming out. They also... They do mention that, yes... Uh, they do have detachable a detachable controller for a tablet, but when we originally looked at that, the picture, right? I mean, here it is right here. We can scroll it up. These controllers don't come off. It's all one piece. Whereas what we saw before, of course, with, well, with the Switch, even Game Vice, I guess, had more of a point than what Razer does here. Uh, it, they're not separate. They're, it's all one piece, so you don't slide them off. You don't pop them off on either end, and then it becomes two controllers, technically. It's always just one controller, and the tablet has to slide in. Yes, this was 2013. I get it. 
technology has come a, a, a bit further now in the past six years, but I don't see that as the same thing as what we've seen now with the Switch. I see this possibly evolving into the Switch. Maybe Nintendo looked at this and said, wait a minute, that could that could work. We'll just have to, have to iron some things out and make it so there are two, and we'll look at it from there. Because remember, Nintendo said they had been working on the Switch since like the Wii U was coming out. So they've been working on it for a while. This was 2013. I think there's a chance that, yeah, maybe Nintendo saw this and decided, hey, we can work on that a bit further and, and get it out there. Uh, but interesting stuff here. You know what? I like the idea of, I know people are going to look at the Razer stuff and be like, wait a minute, they're copying off the Nintendo. Good. <laughs> that's what I, that's what I'm saying, because I think the hybrid idea is a good idea. Home console, handheld, uh, functionality with separate controllers. I think it's a good idea, but I think there are issues need to be worked out. And generally when you have companies come basically competing with each other with ideas that they're coming up with. One will try to one up the other with innovation and stuff. And here's the one thing about Razer. It's going to come out. It's going to be too expensive, right? There's going to be uh, probably a lack of any com super compelling software on it. But Nintendo look, most likely looked at this and said, wow, that's a cool idea. They might look at the, the idea of using magnets. I think that's a cool idea. Or who knows, maybe it comes out and it has an interesting way to cool the system inside. Uh, Razer's already done some interesting stuff with their phones for cooling, so you never know. Uh, but I wouldn't look at this as a thing that's like they're copying off Nintendo. They, they're, they're, trying to, they're trying to take all their ideas. Eh, I mean, it's just Razer working a bit more into the hybrid idea when it comes to just a tablet functionality. I don't, I mean, this This probably does plug into a display as well, but they're not marketing it with a dock. Nintendo does have a dock. I just like the idea of them kind of evolving the, the idea of the tablet with controllers, Joy-Cons, all that stuff. And uh, hey, I mean, next-gen Joy-Cons uh, could, could end up looking a bit similar with that with magnets and stuff. And hey, maybe they won't drift. Maybe they'll be symmetrical. Who knows? But uh, interesting stuff from Razer. Let me know what you guys think about this down below. Uh, and, uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow. We got grid. I'm going to talk a bit about grid autosport. There is a feature in grid that has now fixed simulation racing games for the switch completely. It's amazing. You guys got to tune in tomorrow morning. We'll talk about it then and I'll see you guys next time. Mm -hmm.